Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today we're going to be covering three things uh, in relation to CSV files and Notion. First, we're going to import a CSV file into a Notion page. Then we're going to append the data from a CSV file into an existing Notion database. And finally, we're going to export a Notion database into a CSV file. So stay tuned. Before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps me out. If you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified when I release a new video, please click the bell button to enable notifications. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is, is we're going to be importing a CSV file into a Notion page. So the first thing we want to do is create our page. So I have this personal projects page I kind of use as a catch-all. Type slash start typing a page to create my page. As you can see, it's one of my basic blocks here. Click it, and now I have a new page. So we're gonna call this um, import CSV. And come, come down here. And the next thing I wanna do is actually come down over here in the left-hand uh, panel, I'm gonna see this little import button. I'm going to click that and I get presented the import menu. Looking at the import menu, I have a variety of options. The one we want here, obviously, because we're working with CSV files is CSV. I'm going to click that. It's going to bring up a file chooser. I have two files here. I'm going to choose the test one and click open. And there we go. So as you can see, it took my CSV file. It, and I'm going to actually open my CSV file down here so you can see it. Give you a little comparison of what they look like. Let's wait for that to open. OK. And as you can see here, this is my CSV file opened up in Apple Numbers. And basically, you have four columns and five rows of data. Put them next to each other here. And you can see that it's basically a like for like. So it literally takes the content, dumps it in. Now, one of the things that you will may notice here is in this date file, um, if you're using tables and databases in Notion and you see date, you automatically think it's a date property type. But if I click on it, you'll notice it's a selection type. And one of the ways you can tell that is by the way that the date is formatted. Um, so if I was using this, I would just come in, change the, the type to date, and as you and it does read it now, it recognizes that as a date, and it gives me the January first um, date that I was looking for. So that's how you import a CSV file into a Notion page. Okay, now we're going to cover how to append a CSV file's content into an existing Notion table. So sometimes you're working in. Um, a sp your favorite spreadsheet app, whether it's Excel, Google Sheets, Numbers, and you want to take that data and you want to put it into a Notion database that you already have, but you don't want to manually do that because obviously the bigger your database and more importantly, the bigger your uh, CSV file that you'd be bringing over, right? Uh, all that content uh, manually entering that would not be ideal, uh, kind of a waste of time. So. Notion supports the ability to actually add a database, uh, excuse me, a CSV file into the database. Now, the one caveat to this is that the, the, the database needs to be a full page database. If you remember, um, Notion has two types of databases you can create when you create them. One is an inline database, which means it's a, you're adding a database to an existing page, with um, and the second one being a uh, full page database. Uh, database, which basically is literally a page that is just a database. So in this one here, you can see I have a database. And now I'm going to append a, another CSV file onto it. So the other caveat here before we do this is that you really should have at least one uh, column that's common between the CSV file and your database. Um, in this case, I have 
all four um, that you'll see when I import it. But you want to have at least one so that way Notion has a way to marry up the um, the entries between the, the data you're bringing in and the existing database. So the first thing you want to do is come up here to the top right hand corner and click the ellipses. And you want to come down here to merge with CSV. And what this is telling Notion is you want to merge your database with a CSV file that you're going to bring in. So when you click that, it's going to bring up the file chooser. I have another CSV file, test2 here, which I'm going to click. I'm going to click open. It's going to import it. And as you can see, it appends it right to the bottom. Now I'm going to open up this file here so you can see. I'm going to bring it over. And you can see the three additional entries here. First, second, and third. First, second. Of course, it has them out of order for some reason. First, second, and third. Um, but you can see it it brought them in. Um, the cat is correct. It's just out of order. But it did bring it in. Um, and then, obviously, I can sort. You know, I can do it a sort here. I can sort. I can add a sort. And I can do an ascending by last name as an example. And now you can see it does it in alphabetical order on last name. Okay, so that is basically how you append a CSV file into a Notion database. Now we're going to talk about how to export a Notion database to a CSV file. There's really two reasons you'd want to do this. One is to just back up your database. Um, if you wanted to have like a, uh, a backup outside of Notion uh, for your data, you can certainly do that. Uh, the second reason, and the reason I, why I think it'd be um, most people would want to do it, is let's say you had a table um, in Notion that had a ton of um, numbers in it that you wanted to run some advanced calculations on that maybe are a lot, maybe is a certain level of difficulty to do in Notion that might be easier to do in a spreadsheet program like Excel or Google Sheets. Exporting it to a CSV file and then importing it into one of those applications um, allows you a lot more flexibility in terms of how you want to manipulate the numbers and do cal advanced calculations. Not to say that Notion doesn't have a certain amount of that capability in it, but one is a spreadsheet application, one is a database application, and um, the, data, the spreadsheet application is built to tabulate numbers, whereas a database application, while it's good at sorting data and storing it, calculations are sort of a secondary thing. So the way that you export your table is to come up to the ellipses. You click the ellipses and you'll see export as an option. And you have a couple of options when you click it. Uh, the default is Markdown as CSV, which is the one we're going to choose. But if you could also export it as a PDF or HTML file. We're going to choose the, this markdown of CSV. We are not going to check subpages, include subpages. And what this does is literally takes, um, if you were to click this, what it would do is it would give you a zip file filled with a bunch of pages, uh, a page, basically a bunch of files. Each file would be um, a row of your table. Uh, so in our case, we would have, I believe, eight um, documents each um, for each row, like each row would have a document. There'd be there's eight rows. There's gonna be eight documents. Um, because I only want the the table itself as a you know a CSV file, I'm gonna leave that unchecked and hit export. It's gonna give me a um, long prompt here and with a dot zip because it exports the file as a zip file. So you want to rename it. Be careful not to change the dot zip file part. And I'll call this export no sub for no um, sub pages. I'll hit save. And if you look over here on my screen, you'll see that now on my desktop, I have this file. Um, I'm going to double click that file. It's going to open. You can see down here, uh, there's a CS test CSV file now that shows up. I'm going to open that with Excel. If I can find it, there it is. And as you can see, if I pull this down a little bit, it basically has all the file um, content that the table had in a CSV uh, format.
So I thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked this video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more content, please click the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell to be notified when I release new videos. Thank you.